Good morning guys, it's Unfrequented World Photography again and uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on something that I've uh, had problems with recently since acquiring a big telephoto lens and uh, the problem is that whenever I mount it onto the tripod because it's so heavy when you twist the camera the camera actually twists on top of the plate that you have it mounted on and I'm going to show you guys that on my uh, near gimbal head here and I'm going to show you the fix that I've come up with um, it was a quick fix, it's something you can do for about a dollar, but I'm also going to make uh, something in the garage today and show you guys an even better way to fix this. So here we go. Okay, so here's the Tamron 300 2.8 mounted on the newer gimbal. And as you can see, it uses the Arca style uh, quick release plates here. And I've just got a short one on there, you know, maybe three inch. And what happens is when you move the camera, um, there's resistance right here and the lens just slides around. You can tighten this down as you know as hard as you can. There's a little screw loop on the bottom or you can use a coin and it doesn't matter how much you tighten it down there's always some maneuvering here that happens just from the weight and it's it's not a good uh, system. So I was looking online and they sell something called an anti-slip plate or an anti-twist plate and um, essentially it's a plate that comes along the bottom between where the uh, tripod and the lens mount something like this and it hooks around the back of your um, bottom of your tripod mount right here so I took a wall hook that cost you know 98 cents I straightened it out it was twice as long as this I cut off the part I didn't need and I just bent up a 90 degree on the back so it took me five minutes and about a dollar. So this sits in here, it mounts underneath, and this locks against the back of this, uh, between the plate and the tripod, and it, it stops the camera from twisting. Well, I got thinking, um, this does work very well. I can use the camera for hours, and it might just shift over a little tiny bit. Um, but what I got thinking would be a better solution is to measure the entire length of the plate and have uh, this plate that we're going to make twist up on the back so it comes over to hold the back of the lens mount securely but then also twist the front down over the, the front of the mounting plate so we're going to essentially have a twist that goes down in the front up in the back that way it'll be 100% uh, secure and we're just going to use a piece of uh, heavy plate sheet that I have in the garage I'm going to use a grinder to cut it out we're going to file it smooth drill a hole in it for the screw to go through and uh, there you've got your anti-twist plate it's probably going to take about 15 minutes to make and it's not going to cost you anything if you've got a couple tools and some uh, you can also use anything you know go go to the store and buy a piece of plate for a dollar um, straighten it out and do the same kind of thing so these guys online, it's ridiculous to me that they want anywhere from $40 to $140 for these plates. And I just can't see paying that. I mean, be handy. Do it yourself if you can. Anyway, let's go to the garage and we'll see what we can make. So here we are in the garage. And what we're going to use today is I've got this uh, plate that came with the light for my garage light. It goes uh, up against the ceiling. I already had a plate so I ended up with this extra one. It's fairly heavy duty, um, but it's something you can cut easily with the grinder and we could probably make you know, 15 plates out of this if we so wanted to. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take our Arca Swiss uh, mounting plate, we're gonna put it on here, take a measurement, just draw out what we need, and we're gonna remember that the length of this uh, piece that we're cutting out on here, we're gonna add you know, a quarter inch to each end that we're going to bend up on one side, down on the other. As you can see, I've drawn out the template for what we're going to cut out. I'm just going to stick this in the vise, get the grinder out, cut it out. Rough ground out, and you don't want to grab that right away because that's going to be very hot. So just give it a minute. Then we're going to take the file to it, file it down nice and smooth, put a couple bends on it, Put a hole in it for the screw to go through, and then we'll try it out on the uh, Arca Swiss plate. I've uh, 
even rounded the edges just a little bit. I'm going to put my Arca Swiss plate over top and I'm just going to put a mark where I want to bend each side of this. And it doesn't have to be super precise or anything. Just a general bending. And once that's bent, we're going to be drilling a hole for the screw to go through and it's going to go in right here and we're going to mark that as well. So there's our mark for the screw. And there's our two marks where we're going to bend it up. We're going to stick it in the vise, take the hammer and just bend it over. And this is the front end, so I want it to be bent down, so we're going to push the plate back. Like so. Now we've got the other end in and we want to bend it the opposite way of the first bend. Just move that over a little more. Like so. So we end up with a plate that looks like a Z. Now to see if we did a good job or not, we'll take the, the uh, Arca Swiss plate and I always mount mine to the camera with the screw in the back position. Look at that. So it's locked on the front and it's going to lock onto the bottom of the lens mount. It's going to slide right into here and it's going to stop it from being able to twist. Okay guys, so here's the finished plate, all painted and pretty. You didn't think I'd actually stick that ugly old thing without paint on there, did you? It's got to look good too, right? We're going to mount it on the camera and we'll see if it stops it from twisting. You guys are seeing this at the same time as me, so we'll see if this works. Okay, so now we're going to try moving the camera. Does not slide. 100% affixed right here. There is no sliding. It can't. As you can see, what's moving is the whole tripod is moving as I'm turning that. It's not sliding back and forth right here. So, do it yourself. Anti-twist plate. There you go.